Hello and, and welcome to our renovation project and timeline announcement of Progressive Field Reimagined. I want to thank everyone for coming today, as well as thank our partners who have assisted us in getting to this point in our Progressive Field renovations. Our lead architect, company, Manica, our architect of record, Moody Nolan, our construction manager, Mortensen, associate construction managers, independent construction, and the AKA team, plus our partners at Gateway. We're excited to share the projects that we've landed on today, as well as allow us to share renderings of the new elements we plan to bring to Progressive Field in 2024 and 2025. We have called Progressive Field home since 1994, and we are excited to continue to do so for decades to come, thanks to the lease extension we announced earlier this year with the city of Cleveland, Cuyahoga County, and the state of Ohio. Progressive Field has been a great home to our fans and has had some amazing memories, including the most recent walk-off win in Game 3 of the American League Division Series against the New York Yankees. As the third, excuse me, as the 11th oldest uh, ballpark in Major League Baseball, Progressive Field Reimagined will continue to improve and extend the life of the ballpark, focusing on renovations to the upper deck, terrace club, dugout club, clubhouses, and service level, along with our administrative offices. These projects will focus on areas of the ballpark that have not been renovated since we opened in 1994 and will complement the most recently completed major renovations in 2015 to the lower level concourse and right field district. We look forward to the completion of these renovation projects and providing new experiences and updated enhancements to our fans, players, and staff. We know that these renovations will continue to keep Progressive Field one of the best venues in Major League Baseball. I would now like to turn the microphone over to our President of Business Operations, Brian Barron, to walk through the specific projects. Thanks, Paul, and hello to all in attendance. I'm thrilled to be standing in front of you today to discuss Progressive Field Reimagined. This has been a process, this has been in the works for quite some time. And it's great to be at the point when we can share some visions for what is to come. For Guardians fans at Progressive Fields in 2024 and 2025, the new fan-facing renovation projects have a heavy emphasis on new social experiences at the ballpark. As we sought feedback from our fans regarding what they'd like to see at Progressive Field, we continuously heard feedback that aligned with the success that we've seen with the corner bar and that is a focus on more social spaces and compelling fan experiences offering unique ways to enjoy a baseball game. We believe the projects that we're going to share today will deliver new, unique outings for our fans. Before providing details, let's take a look at the projects with a video Manica has produced.
you uh, to Manica for that video. It's super helpful. And I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into each one of those areas with a bit of a narrative. And I believe we have some images uh, that, that may help guide the discussion. I'm going to start with the Terrace Hub. The current Terrace Club will be reimagined as an open air hub with terraced ticketed seating on the 200 and 300 levels with a private club space for those ticketed fans on the 300 level. The 400 level area of the Terrace Club will be transformed into a new expansive market hall food and beverage experience that will be open to all fans at Progressive Field. The market hall will feature authentic to Cleveland food and beverage offerings and will be connected to all levels of the ballpark with a new stair and escalator system that makes it easy for fans to get from the left field gate in the lower level to the 500 level. The market hall will have direct access to the new upper deck beer garden, which is part of the revamped upper deck in left field. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the revamped upper deck. This area will feature multiple social spaces for fans to enjoy the game. The new look upper deck will feature the beer garden down the left field line with panoramic views of Progressive Field and downtown Cleveland. The current shipping containers in right field will be replaced by a new group outing space. We will have new concession spaces in the upper deck including two new view box bars that will flank home plate and allow for more open sight lines from the upper deck concourse. Additionally, there will be new grab-and-go concession stands installed in the upper deck, allowing for an improved food and beverage fan experience. The grab-and-go concept will increase efficiency for fans who want to grab a quick bite and a beverage compared to existing concession stands. Fans will be able to walk in, grab what they want, and check out on their own. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Dugout Club. The reimagined Dugout Club will combine the best of premium seating while creating a new exclusive lounge for, for fans with seats behind home plate. We will keep the same field level seats that fans have experienced as part of the Dugout Suites in the past, but we'll open up the area instead of focusing on separate Dugout Suites. A new Dugout Club will be built right behind the seats for an upscale VIP experience. The club will feature a permanent bar, comfortable lounge areas, and elevated food and beverage concepts for home plate seat patrons. The dugout club will also have seven private lounges for those who still want to enjoy a dugout suite experience. The club will be available for 250 new guests who have seating in the immediate rows behind home plate, as well as the 72 fans who have field level seating. Finally, I want to talk about the East 9th expansion building. The new four level East 9th Street building will allow for clubhouse expansion in the service level, which Chris will talk about in a moment, creating over 20,000 square feet of new space. The new building in right field will house a new kitchen and commissary for the Guardian's concessionaire, as well as additional storage options for the ballpark. The third level will have a market concession concept that will open up to the current family deck and the top rooftop level will connect to the upper concourse and serve as a new group space at Progressive Field. To speak on the reimagined clubhouse and player amenities, I'd like to invite President of Baseball Operations, Chris Antonetti, up to the podium. Thank you, Brian. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, it's exciting to see all of the opportunities for us to impact our fan experience at the ballpark. What I'd like to share a little bit is uh, the impact these renovations will have on our ability to help us move closer to our goal of winning the World Series. Uh, before doing that, we'd want to reiterate our gratitude to our external partners uh, that Paul referenced at the outset, Manica, Moody Nolan, and Mortensen Construction, all of whom have been great, pro great partners on this project to date and also recognize a few internal people who have led our efforts. Uh, as you can imagine, projects like this, especially coordinating efforts among so many areas, uh, takes a great deal of effort. And Christy Corpheus has served as our internal liaison and has led our efforts. And we're 
greatly in debt to uh, Christy for all of her efforts to continue to lead us forward. And then specifically on the uh, clubhouse portion, Neil Huntington has really led those efforts to um, really help us reimagine uh, these spaces and, um, and help us modernize the services we're providing our uh, club, clubhouse and staff. Um, as you know, our ultimate goal every year is to win a World Series championship for the city of Cleveland and our fans. One of the many factors that goes into that is ensuring we provide the adequate space and amenities needed to support training, preparation, performance, recovery, and rehabilitation so that our players can compete at the highest level. We really emphasize each of those areas as we sought to rede redesign the clubhouse areas. These renovations will mark the first time since the ballpark opened in 1994 that the clubhouses will see a major upgrade. Through these renovations, we will significantly improve our ability to support player preparation, performance, and recovery through expanded and enhanced strength and conditioning and athletic training areas, improved kitchen facilities, more robust technological support for our players and staff, uh, in addition to other improvements throughout these clubhouse areas. Although we have a lot of work still to do to get the final product in place, I'm very excited to see these projects come to fruition as we continue to relentlessly work towards our goal of winning World Series. And with that, I will turn it back over to Curtis. Thank you, Chris. Before we conclude uh, today, I just want to provide the anticipated timeline for all the projects we just talked through. We expect all renovations to be completed by the 2025 season. The schematic design process is nearly completed and the majority of this season will focus on design development. We expect to start construction by the end of the 23 season and will aim to have the upper deck experience and the East Knight Street building completed by the start of the 24 season. The Terrace Hub, the Dugout Club, the Clubhouses and the Administration Building will be expected to be completed by the beginning of the 25 season. So, Obviously, a lot of work to be done uh, in a very short amount of time, but we're very excited about what the future holds both on uh, and off the field. So that kind of ends the formal portion. We're going to break up into one-on-ones. Uh, Chris is going to be available to discuss the, uh, the clubhouse renovation, and Brian Barron will be available to discuss all the fan-facing projects. So thanks for coming today, and uh, we'll uh, see you soon.